I'm Judy Lysaker. Laura Hansfield and I were asked to write an insight essay for this issue of JLR. It was a great project. The title of our essay is Integrative Research Syntheses as Sites of Disruption in Literacy Teacher Education. And it describes the ways in which the literacy research education syntheses in this issue of JLR provide sites of disruption and dialogue in the field. Laura and I argue that research syntheses are important genres that have the potential to be co-generative dialogues and help us all construct new common understandings and promote mutual growth within our scholarly community. In this essay, we look across the, the syntheses in this issue and fo focus on three important ways the authors use the genre to generate sites of disruption and prompt dialogue. These ways include how they choose criteria for inclusion in the synthesis, how they critically attend to their positionalities as authors, and how they highlight alternative or potentially limiting methodological, theoretical frames within the studies reviewed. We illustrate each of these means of disruption with examples from the syntheses. After this, we ask, how might authors further create dialogue within the research syntheses themselves? Laura and I wondered if authors of studies being reviewed could write responses or pose questions regarding how their work was represented within a research synthesis. We also suggest that authors of research syntheses might include studies with competing frames so that theoretical assertions, disciplinary groundings, and methodological practices can be put side by side in dialogue with one another. We end our piece by suggesting that the integrative research synthesis as a genre can be a powerful tool in disrupting dominant discourses within the field of literacy teacher education by ebbing the flow of their momentum and promoting dialogue and multiplicity. The site ITEL project upon which these reviews are built offers a potential model for how research syntheses might take on such multiplicity and dialogicality. We hope this insight essay provides some food for thought for all of us in our scholarly community.